month I grew up, um, while the Apollo program was going on, and, and really everybody in the country was watching that. But at that time, there were no women astronauts. And so you know, nobody ever went around asking, do you want to be an astronaut when you grow up? They, did, they just didn't ask girls that. And it never occurred to me that was something I could, I could go do. And then um, I went off to graduate school after having a couple summer jobs um, where I had a chance to do research. And so I decided I wanted to get into, into research. And it was there at Stanford, the first year I was there, that the space shuttle flew for the first time. So that was a big deal for a number of reasons. Um, it was a very different kind of spacecraft than it had ever flown before. And it, it was going to do different things. It was going to be used for a lot of different kinds of science research, for example. And it could hold a lot more people than a capsule. And because of that, um, I guess three years before it flew the first time, NASA had selected the first group of astronauts that was going to train specifically for the shuttle. And that was the first group that included women and the first group that included minority astronauts. So I was about halfway through my undergrad at that point. So these were all big changes going on. Um, and uh, so it was really in graduate school after that all happened. Two years later, after the first shuttle flight, Sally Ride flew, another, another big milestone, first uh, American women in space. And she and I had some things in common in that she had a physics degree and, and I had a physics degree. She had come from Stanford. I was at Stanford. And, and that all made it seem a lot more, you know, possible. Or, you, you know, at least it gave me the idea that, well, this isn't something impossible. <laughs> and I got uh, very interested in it at that point. 